Hi, this is Professor LaPuma from the New Jersey Institute of Technology, and I'm recording this from my technical communications class drawn on material in my text, Fundamentals of Undergraduate Education and Learning. We're now on part three of the wonderful method, which is the last third, talking about finding answers, understanding, and learning. And so what we want to think about as we move from wonder to wonderful, we're really making this a personal aspect. The idea here is that you have to know your own style of learning, your own style of understanding things, how your mind works and what you're doing. And again, it's still not a linear process. It's oftentimes necessary to go back to the earlier parts of wonder and one to actually figure out more data that can produce more information that can help you learn. In the end, our goal is, of course, learning. And so, but we must begin with finding answers. Even though we've been doing research in the last part of this, without finding answers, without coming up with what we feel is the correct solution to the problem or the result of the goal that we wanted, you're not going to actually come up with anything further. Simply having information doesn't get you far enough. You need to do more. And it's really the idea of formulating solutions and explanations so that you can test them and see if they work. Now, finding answers is good, but you have to understand. Part of what we're really looking at is that just getting an answer, getting a fact, finding it from somewhere may not be good enough. Many times there is no answer to be found. It must be created. And that's why we go back to this idea of understanding from the previous presentation in which you make the connections. You make sense of what you found and put it forth as your understanding of the topic. This understanding is then supported with the information you've been able to gather from other sources and from the data that you found yourself. This is a very good way of understanding things, right, is what we say, means that it's a very good way for you to make sense of what we have been talking about. For us in this course, understanding is vital because as you look at a target in a situation and match that with your goal, you try to generate an understanding of how your package can most effectively accomplish that goal. Now, the last part of this is learning. And learning is perhaps one of the most difficult things, and there's huge amounts of literature on that, so I don't want to go into it too much here, but what we're really looking at is learning is determining what is correct in that situation, and it's important for you to be able to know how you can best understand and acquire knowledge and make it part of your own mind so that you can use it to again go back and further your understanding to find answers to do research. The idea here is that it's wonderful to be able to learn. And in the end, that is what you should be trying to do in this class. We don't want you to just get an answer. We want you to understand what we're trying to put forth so that you can learn and apply it in your own situation in your own way. So thank you and please move on to the next presentation.